Hi everybody, Sandra here, and I am putting together my uh, stuff, getting my supplies out. I'm going to be painting today. Really excited about this. Um, just got to get myself situ situated. Let's see. Um, put you guys over here. I've been making more beads again, so I just got to get them in the oven, set him aside. So, let's see, who do we got here this morning so far? We have Fiona. Hi, Fiona. How are you? Give everybody a second. I'm going to use some of that and no, not the red flash. Let's see. We'll use the red. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, just trying to get my colors down that I want to use. Let's see. We might have to make some. I know you want the red and the brown and the gold and the green. And I think that's it. I don't want to use that. And I don't think I'm going to use those. So, okay. So I have these beads that I did, and I'll bring them up. And these were just done with some leftover scraps. Um, and I have to bake them still. These are still raw clay. But I did this with some scrap beads and my little bead roller. And then I also did, you're not really going to see it against the purple background because they're purple. Um, let me see. Hang on one second. There's Brody. So there's these guys. That I have been working on. Yes, there's three or four different shades of purple. Um, and the white and some of them have glitter in them but those are my new uh, cabochons and yeah I, I was really happy with how those came out again that was just with some leftover scrap clay hey Bubba it's okay buddy hey Brody I have Brody here with me. He's never very far from where I am. Let me turn my camera a little. So let's see. Okay, that one's okay. This one. There. That's better. There we go. That's better. So let's see. So 
So is he a part of this? Yes, they are. They are. They are my children. <laughs> they were the only children I got to have. So, uh oh, I just heard something hit the floor, but I'll get it later. Um, I'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way that I don't need right now. This guy out of the way, and I don't need that. Um, there's something else I was going to show you guys before I started painting. Oh, I need water, and I need my palette. Let me go grab that, and I will be right back. Water for my brushes. I don't need those, I think. Not my this. So, this is the little birdhouse that I did. This was a kit. Oh, yeah, I guess it is kind of semi translucent. This was a um, little birdhouse kit that I got from, thank you. Yeah, I really like how the roof turned out. Um, and there's the walls, there's the backside. Um, so it was this kit that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I have another one, I'll show you what it started out as. So I'm gonna do another one. So, so I started out with this, and this is just like balsa wood. It's really thin, really, really cheap. <laughs> and um, I wanted to strengthen it, so I covered it in clay. And I think this will, because it will be outside, so I think this will be more weatherproof. Um, and, you know, once I get it all done, I'll seal it. To help protect the paint and everything but um yeah i wanted to do like the shake shingle roof and i wanted to i wanted it to like look like a wooden house so uh that's how i i used uh, i have a texture sheet that i used um this guy right here this is a texture sheet and it's like a wood grain so that's what i used to texture the clay to and then i i cut um strips to make it look like planks of wood on the sides and you know i made sure they were like different sizes and different widths and stuff to i guess add to the realistic element but i'm really happy with how it turned out and now we get to paint it. There's some bits on here that's kind of stuck. It's okay. Where's my blade? I see these imperfections and I gotta fix it. I know most people will be like didn't wouldn't even notice, but I notice and it bothers me. Okay.
Yep, now I'm going to paint it. And I've been debating on the colors I wanted to use. I thought about doing, you know, brown just because, you know, wood is brown. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to make this kind of look like a red barn. So the walls, I'm going to do a muted shade of red. Um, I'll probably kind of um, add some gold to it to kind of tone it down some and I'll also give it a little bit of pearl and then the roof I'll do brown who oh geez yes uh for those of you that aren't here in California we have had a series of earthquakes here but you know Enough to rattle my nerves, but that's about it. So, but the media is just, they're just going to town with it. And um, I wasn't that close to the epicenter. Um, I did feel it. The one, both of them actually, the one that was on the 4th of July and the one that happened last night, uh, about 8.15 last night, I did feel it. It was a long one. <laughs> I think it was 30, 40 seconds before it stopped moving my house. How long does clay have to dry for? Uh, the clay of this is bakeable clay. And so I bake it for an hour at the manufacturer's recommended temperature. Um, I have I use um, Sculpey. Uh, what I use Super Sculpey in this project. Yep, 7.1. But um, I'm sure it was much worse towards closer to the epicenter and even near, you know, in the epicenter. Um, I know the towns closer got a lot more uh, damage. Um, I'm not that, f I'm probably an hour or so away, um, maybe two hours away if that so it was definitely felt but um only thing it really rattled was other than my house <laughs> was my nerves and hubby wasn't home last night so i was here by myself with the dogs <laughs> not what i had planned for the evening <laughs> you know it is what it is and you know i've lived here all my life i still don't like them and um you know you just no pun intended you just gotta roll with it so pre be prepared you know because earthquakes you don't get a warning <laughs> and you never know when they're gonna hit and i'm gonna stop talking about it because i have a superpower and when i think or talk about them they usually start they usually happen my mother said that um You know, any every, every time I would, you know, talk about, you know, just mentioning them, you know, within a day or so, we'd have one. And she was pretty, pretty much right every single time from with me growing up. So, oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> They're not fun. <laughs> you know, because you don't know how strong it's going to get. You don't know how long it's going to last. And you don't know when the next one's going to hit. So, you know, the unknown factor just really raises your anxiety. So, anyways, enough about the silly old earthquake. If you've lived here in California or anywhere else where they get them, you know, especially California, we're known for them. You know, it old news. At least that's my, my um, perspective. So, uh, anyways, let's see here. Um, let's see if I can't get people's in here. I'm not mm -hmm. uh, There we go. So I see some other people coming in. 
Um, so I'm just going to get going here. I'm going to, I haven't used this paint in a while, so I'm going to shake it up. This red is kind of on the thick side, so. But I am going to tone it down with either brown or gold. I don't like that sound. It's all gobby in there. Gross. Well. Ew. Look. That's gross. Give me a stick. Any old stick. Yeah, here, give me one of my bad paintbrushes. Yeah, that won't work. Hey, Martha, how are you? My paint is all gobby and gross. Ew. Anybody know how to revive acrylic paint? Maybe oh good neighbor. <laughs> oh Mr. Wilson from Home Improvement. <laughs> well, it's better. So one of our good friends, um, Trucker Janie Renteri Renteria, water a few draw. Oh, okay, cool. Let me do that. That's it. Give me a paper towel. Hang on here a second. I got a share. Okay. You. Yuck. Uh, few drops at a time, huh? Who's here? Who's here? Oh, Melissa's here. Hi, Melissa. I'm fixing my paint. It got gross. Um. We'll do a spritz. <laughs> Yay. I am shaking it vigorously. <laughs> it's making my arms hurt. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Depp with that. Funny. So, um... I'm only gonna, you know what? Let's try the gold. And then my gold paint is like liquid, so. It's a gross sound. I don't like that. <laughs> Off. Oh, fudgy doodles. Add a few drops of that. I 
it's still really red, so I think we're gonna have to add the brown. <gasps> Mary, oh my gosh, you made it! Hello, Mary. So we're gonna add just a tiny bit of the brown because I want to tone that red down. There we go. I don't know why I get... I don't know why I get so nervous when it comes to painting something because <laughs> I get worried I'm going to mess it up. This is just an old paintbrush that I had used glue on and forgot to wash it off. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. We're going to start with the back, I think. And... Thank you, Mary. <laughs> I need the words of encouragement because, yeah. Let's see. We're going to go with this. Well, part of me says to use a stiffer brush. But the other part of me says it doesn't matter. So I have that guy and I have... But I don't want to see the brush stroke, so we'll go with this guy. Oh yeah, that's going to be a nice color. Who's here? Trucker Jane. <gasps> Janie's here. I don't know if you saw my message. I got your mica powders yesterday. Thank you so very much. Um, the post office, though, was not kind. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Let me get this painted on, and then I'll show you what happened. <laughs> I ended up with some new colors. On top of the new colors that, you know. Coffee and toast with the banana. Ooh, well that sounds good too. Uh, oh, and Melissa got happy mail from Janie too. Hooray. So, but I think like this trim part, I might do, like a shade darker than the roof just to give it definition. Oh, I hear yelling outside. What are stupid people arguing about now?
Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I don't know if that would have helped either, but um, yeah, there was probably more mica powder in the bottom of the container than there. <laughs> so I ended up with, um, I didn't want to waste it. And so what I ended up doing was I scooped it up and put it into a baggie. And there's four of them. So there's one wall. That looks really good. I'm going to keep going here. Yeah, it did. Um, there's a blue... Um, Oh, that looks cool, too. Hang on here. All right. I'm going to need more paint. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that color again. So let's see what we did. There's a little bit of the red. And the brown. Might as well just mix it all. Oh, hey, it's pretty close. What am I missing? Um, I could use a bigger brush, I guess. I have this guy.
Thank you. Yeah, I really like it. It was just the red. What did I have? So this is just Walmart acrylic paint. Um, this is the Apple Barrel Cardinal Crimson and the Apple Barrel Melted Chocolate. We'll do this side. I think when I do the other one, when I put the, the other birdhouse together, um, I was thinking of making it look like brick. Then I got to go see if I can get more of them birdhouses. I'm having fun doing these birdhouses. Yeah, it did, didn't it? I'm really happy with the red what I wanted. Just trying to get it all into the nooks and crannies. Well, I guess I did get all four sides. <laughs> Worried I wasn't going to have enough paint. Look well, good. I think I got pretty good coverage back here. Because I, what I might end up doing to kind of make it look a little aged, um, I might do like an antiquing layer. Where I'll go in with like a brown wash. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let those dry. Let me catch up with chat. Oh, Mary. Oh, okay. Um, they are made out of wood. 
this is what it started out as. It was a little birdhouse kit that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I got a couple of them. And um, uh, a few weeks ago on my live stream, we I put this together. And as I was looking at it, you know, it's because it's just really thin balsa wood. I wanted to strengthen it. So I covered the whole thing in clay. And um, baked it. And, you know, I used the texture sheet to get the wood grain look um, effect. So, um, yeah. I'm really happy with it. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. So, the roof I am going to do brown. But, we're going to darken it a little bit. And I'm going to add some of this other paint. So I'm going to add some of this um, Master's Touch Fine Art Studio acrylic paint. And this is in, I think this is Black Pearl. So just a touch, which will help thicken this part up. And I need a paper towel. Let's see. Where's it going? Mm, yeah, a tiny bit of brown added to the red to make it darker and a toothpick or something thin to put on edges of wood planks to make it look more aged. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. All good ideas. So this is just going to be the base coat.
want to touch it. Oh, there we go. I'll go back with a smaller brush to get the crevices back up in there. So what is everybody up to today? Yes, I will. I will. I've been watching Asa Clay. <laughs> I, I'm, oops. That's okay. Don't know why I did that, but. No, I didn't. Um, I saw his new one pop up this morning. The the flying fairy imp or something like that. Yeah, I saw that. I haven't watched it yet. I'll probably um, my husband and I watched the, him together. So I might wait till he gets home tonight and we'll watch it. Or I may watch it later when I'm eating my lunch. He ain't going to know. I'll come back with a smaller brush. All right, this is looking good. I'm not quite sure I totally understand the dry brushing technique. But if I can do it, I will. Okay. I need a smaller brush now.
Flying Goblin Fairy, that's it. Dry brushing is easy. It well, it looks easy enough. I'm just I don't know if I get it. Because um I guess I don't understand the terminology. Because you're still sticking your paintbrush in paint, which is wet. Oh, you made tiny pictures for Santa's house. Oh, I bet those are adorable. Dang, it's 10 o'clock already. Boy, time does fly when you're having fun. Okay. Let's get these edges. I'm so tickled that everybody's here. Did I miss anything? Uh, thank you. Martha, you'll have to send me pictures. I want to see. Hopefully it'll be a quiet Saturday. We won't have any more rolling earthquakes. Okay. My OCD is kicking in. <laughs> okay. Well, he is just looking good. Okay. Oh. 
Here she goes. Those two psychos. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Go to the other door and bark. <laughs> oh. Okay. So this border here, we're going to do darker. I think. Let's see. That's the other one. <laughs> Um, I don't want to use that or I could do the gold trim maybe I'll do a gold trim yeah let's see what do we got in here oh that's white that's yellow green no I don't like those colors gold that's what I'm thinking too Okay, gold it is. Oh, I was going to show you the, um, okay. So I'll let that kind of dry for a second. So if Jamie is still here, I hope she is. This is drying out, and I cannot use it now. Okay, so, Janie, the sweetie that she is, sent me half of all of her mica powder colors. And this is after it's been thoroughly cleaned up because the mailman... <laughs> And she kind of color coordinated them for me. So I just have to remember not to tip this because these are not sealed. But yeah, she sent me all these colors. So what happened was, I guess, being tossed around. And this is only one of them. <laughs> being tossed around, you know, in the post in the post postal um co postal commute this got all tossed around and in the bottom of this tray i got that that and that that's how much came out so I have this new color. This is like a bronzy gold color. This one is like a evergreen, all between an olive and an evergreen dark shade. And I mean, that's how much powder is in there. That is full. And then this is like a new mix of the blues and purples so it's almost like a periwinkle almost and then here's the other container this is mostly reds and pinks and stuff and three empty ones which I haven't cleaned them out yet, but there's mica powder that got in there, too. Um, and it's all over my hands. 
Uh, but these are like all the reds and the pinks and stuff. So she was very generous. Um, and for, uh, in the bottom of this one, is all of that. Yeah. So I have a new kind of rose color there now. But yeah, a lot of it got out of the containers because um, they just pop open. There's still a lot in there and these will last me a while. If I can get it open. Yeah. See, there's still a lot of powder in there. So that's a wine red. That's like a purpley red. She said maybe like a Bordeaux, 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 red copper. And crepe myrtle. Ooh. Stuff to get everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, there's some really fabulous colors in here. Here's the purples. Violet. And she labeled the tops for me. I don't want this to go. <laughs> and then this is magic purple, golden purple, and lavender. Ooh. Get a little of that purple. That's a pert of purple. Dry brush. Dry brush. Oh, yeah. There's a, a golden purple. So it's got the gold mixed in with it and lavender. Ooh, that's party too. Oh, guess who? Oh, <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, I like the containers, except they're not uh, sealed. So I think that's why a lot of it got out in transit. That was the word I was looking for. Um, and some of the colors rubbed off, so I don't know what they are. I didn't get a look at this one. Bright yellow. Oh, yeah. Of course, now I put it all over the place again. An orange. There they go. Oh, 
Oh, you got a big box of, of goodies. So that was from Miss Trucker Janie. Shared her mica powders with me. I think she <laughs> she might have felt sorry for me because of my sad collection. <laughs> and now I've got it all over my hands. We can fix that. Oh, you just missed it, Melissa. <laughs> I just showed off mica powders that Janie sent me. Here, hang on. I'll pull them back out. Hold on. Let me get them off my fingers. Okay. Here you go, Melissa. I'll show you again. So she sent me half of all the colors that she has. And she put them in this really cute little container, labeled them for me, but sent me all these colors so that I can use in my clay. And they're just so pretty. And then she kind of semi color coordinated. Huge. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Seven times four. That's 28. And that's 16. Uh, 28 and 16. Uh, 40. 44. Yeah, 40, 44. 44 colors. And then these are like all reds and pinks and stuff. Um, and then these are, em these are empty, so I can add. I don't know that there's many more colors to add, but... <laughs> Um, and then because, uh, these containers aren't, um, sealed, so in their transport to me, getting tossed around and tumbled and, you know, in the mail truck, uh, I got four other colors. There was this much powder was in the bottom. Okay. So. Little dime bag. <laughs> uh, that much powder. I know the post office, man, they just toss it around. They don't care. Um, that much powder was in the bottom of one container. And then all of this powder I pulled out of the other out of the other container. So these three came out of this container. And this came out of this container. So, and I didn't want it to go to waste, you know. So I just scooped it up best I could and uh, put it in these little baggies. And I have three custom colors, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, that's what I got uh, yesterday in the mail. So um, here we are with the birdhouse. We have the first coat on. The roof. There's the walls. I love how he's coming out. We're gonna, getting ready to do the trim and the little porch. <laughs> and yeah, we were doing gold. That's right. We were going to do gold. And this gold is, for whatever reason, really thin. You know what? 
I may not even pour it out. I may just... Do that and I'm going to use a smaller brush just because this is a smaller border oh yeah Maybe I will. Uh-oh. I think I just felt another tremor. Um, we've been having several, there, there was a big one last night, not long after I said goodnight to you guys on Cranky Crafters, um, and there were several aftershocks last night, um, and I think I just felt another one, but that one last night, oh, no, uh, I wasn't that close to the epicenter, um, I was probably 100, about 100 miles away. But still, yeah, we really felt it here. And that was not my idea of a good time. <laughs> and it was one of those ones where, and it lasted a long time. It was almost 40 seconds before I, you know, it stopped moving um so yeah we really and um as i was saying earlier hubby was not home last night so i didn't do that all by myself and let me tell you <laughs> not good for my anxiety <laughs> I could barely hold the phone. I was shaking. I was shaking. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. I'm going to touch that part up with the brown. All right, all right, fine. If the bottle was a little more full, I probably would just. Yeah. Yeah, the one last night was a 7.1 initially. They did downgrade it to a 6.9. And they're saying there's, then they do this all the time. There's a 50% chance that another one of equal or greater is um, feasible within the next week. May or may not happen. But, you know, they always say that after we've had a decent <laughs> earthquake. So 
So yeah, yeah. If you're not used to them, <laughs> they can be unnerving. Uh, but you know, I am used to them. I've lived here all my life, and well, in California. Um, and I still don't like them. Just because you never know. You know, I probably would freak out if I were ever in a tornado. Just because I've never experienced that or even a hurricane, which um, I'm not a fan of high winds. Anyways, so a hurricane would freak me out. Um But the tornado, yeah, even though you get a warrant, you, well, usually you get a warning. Not always, but usually you get some sort of warning to get to safety. As with um, earthquakes, you don't. You never know. Yeah, see, that would freak me out. I don't know that I could handle a hurricane either. I don't like, you know, the winds. Well, there you go. That's good. Yeah, they don't like them mountains. Yeah, I'm liking that gold. I think I'd like it a little more if it was a little bit darker. But I don't know how to darken gold. Or if you can even darken it. <clears throat> okay, got to get up under the eaves. Get this side. This is probably going to take a cup, at least a couple coats. One thing I like about um, these acrylic paints is that they do dry quickly. Trying to remember, I'm trying to be mindful and stay in frame. Uh oh. Oh, well, that's okay. I can fix that. It's easy to fix a boo boo um, on a dark color when you're using a light. When you make a boo boo with a lighter color against a darker color, it's easier to fix. Okay. He's looking pretty snazzy. So let's see. I think we're going to make the porch the same as the roof. And because it's a lighter color, if I don't like it, I can change it.
So um, I don't know if you heard, Melissa, but um, I'm going to be doing another one because I have another kit. Um, so I'm going to be doing another one, but I'm going to make it, instead of it looking like wood, I'm going to do brick. I think that would look really cute, too. And if I can get my hands on any more of these kits, um, I plan on doing more. But, you know, I got to see what they have at the Dollar Tree. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay, I got to get two more. No. Yeah, one more. And Okay, I am loving that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brushes off. Oh, he's looking so good. Uh oh, what are you doing, uh, Martha? What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Um, Melissa, did you see the beads that I did? I made some more beads. Get a sip of my juice. No, uh-oh. Okay, I gotta let the paint dry. Hang on. Oh, the coil on the AC unit. Gotcha. Okay, let me grab my beads. So these are shades of purple and white. There's barrel beads, there's um, bicone beads, and round beads. And there are four of each shape right now. And then I did some more. Of the. Ooh, what the hell is going on there? Okay, fine. I won't do that. <laughs> Camera doesn't like it. Refocus. There we go. Then I'll have to commission um, 
uh, Ace of Clay. Gosh, I can't think of his name. Ace of Clay. I'll have to commission him to do me a wolf statue. statue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't do figurines. <laughs> I don't even... Uh-uh. So let's see. I am liking this so much. I'm going to have to do the Dremel. I'm going to have to drill the hole out a little. Because the little wooden peg, which still has to be coated and added, it doesn't fit. I can't get it all the way in. So I'll have to Dremel that out. Actually, I just ordered a... Um, hand drill that's manual so all right so i'm gonna leave him up like that i'm gonna check on something i will be right back hang on Okay, back. I know it's turning out really good, huh? I'm really happy with it. So, I'm going to do like a wash on here to kind of antique the wood a little. Um, not sure how I'm going to go about doing that yet. I got to think on that one. And then... The roof, I'm going to do the same thing to kind of give it a weathered look. But I got to think how I want to do that too. So, I'm going to set that aside for now and let my brain think on that. And we can actually work on something else. What time is it? Oh, we still got time. So I'm going to put my paints up for now. Up here. There we go. I'm going to set him aside so he can dry. So I'm going to put him up here. Oh, he's so cute. Love him. This can go away. Get that off of there. <laughs> I don't want Carrie commenting on it that I got paint all over my, my uh, glass. And 
and let's see. I know. <laughs> I don't want to get chastised. <laughs> um. I'll just asphyxiate myself with the alcohol. <laughs> it's just water. So. Let's do some more flower beads. A blue stick. Oh my god, if you could see my room is covered in mica powders. Um. That one, I want that one, and I want that one. We're not yet. I want to get some of the gilding waxes, but I haven't gotten them yet. Um, I may have to go browsing around on online after I get off here. Um, oh. I don't know if you guys remember. Melissa probably does. So I did my stamp. But it's too big. If I want to initial, um, like my beads, it's too big. So I'm going to have to do another one that's even smaller. And I don't know if I can do smaller. I'll give it a try. Yeah, this would be good for bigger pieces, but um, for my little like beads and stuff, yeah, it's not going to work. So, um, and that's okay. I am okay with that. So, um, let's do some flowers. I have some Primo Gold. I also have Primo and Where is it? No, not that one. There. Pomegranate. Also known as red. I really like that shade of red. But I was thinking of doing poinsettias. We do. Me too. I like the font that I was able that I was able to do the scroll. Um and oh, I can show you this is my template. And Melissa got one and everybody that ordered from me in my sale got one. But these are my business cards that I'm working on and um, I really like this. This is not going to be the final one. Um, my good friend of many, many years is working on a logo for me and actually I need to check in with him to see how everything's going because I know he was getting on the final touches, but I haven't pressed the issue or anything because he is doing it for uh, as a favor, favor, bleh, 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 as a favor to me. So you know, it's when he has time, and I know he's been really busy lately. So um, you know, he keeps apologizing. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm not paying you, so. Uh, you know, you offered to do this for me, and so whenever it gets done, it's done. Until then, you know, I can get by with what I have. So this is a sample pack of the Primo Gold that I got um, last time I had ordered from um, Fire Mountain Gems. And this is Primo Pomegranate which I think is a nice shade of red. And we will add 
some mica powders or glitter or both so that we can have so this is a one ounce pack so this is a half of one of these so I need I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these so I can kind of um, gauge my pricing and because I know that I probably undersold myself I always do and you know it's not I'm I'm really not in it for the money I do this because I enjoy it and I will continue as long as I enjoy doing this um, so you know I don't have a problem selling my stuff at a lower price Let's see here. I need my blade. That's my bendy blade. This is the blade. And I need to clean it off. And, uh-oh. So I'll build him later. I gotta wash that. I gotta wash that. We gotta do some cleanup here for a second. Okay, look, as this is the mess I made last night, getting all the mica powder out. Look at all the, all my mail got covered in it. Now I've got pretty sparkly mail bills. Okay. My my crystal light. My pasta machine. Glitter everywhere. No, I mean everywhere. Hang on here. We got it. All better. Almost. I can feel it starting to warm up here. Everywhere. That mica powder is like the gilding flakes. It, everywhere. Crank this back down, get it attached to my work surface. There we go. Clean this guy off. So I inherited a beautiful roll top desk when my grandmother passed away. Um, so she, she passed in 1995 and I inherited her roll top desk and I've always wanted to do a refinishing on it. And now I can't because when we lived at the other house that we, when we you know, before we lost the other house, I had a whole bunch of tools, power tools. One of them was a sander 
um, with all the little attachments and everything, and it got stolen. And I was absolutely livid. <laughs> um, and if I ever find out who did it, I probably never will. I most likely never will. Um, I like to wring their neck. Because now I don't have a sander. And I don't think a little Dremel is going to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to do half of each. Because I want to know how many beads I can get. Oh, man, that's fresh clay. With... Uh, You know, this my half pack. So, okay, can move him back over. Um, my roller, which has glitter all over it. Or not glitter, mica powder. You know, because this just wouldn't be me if I didn't do some clay. And this clay is so fresh that it probably won't take very long to get this condition. Take it down to my third thinnest setting. Here's my red. Yeah, I know. Like it's so, you know, it's not hard, people. If it doesn't belong to you and you don't have permission, don't touch it. I don't understand why people don't grasp that concept.
and yeah, I don't need two, three. That one's on its third thinnest setting. So this one, let's see. I'm going to take half of it and add sparkles. Might do some pearlizing. Red. Might do the wine red. But Ooh, that looks cool too. I should do some cutouts just like that. Okay, good night, Fiona. Or good morning. <laughs> have to do some just like that um or maybe i will but we're gonna mix this in
Mixing it in. I don't know if you can see the glitter, but it's definitely in there. Okay. And then this one will do the... Mm -mm. Okay. One thing is mic powder clay do not like to stick. You got to really work it in. There she goes, big mouth. Screaming at somebody. You want to fight, that's fine and dandy, but do you got to do it in the front yard with <laughs> advertise all your business?
There we go. That's looking good. It'll stick to everything else except itself. That's good. So now we're going to take our clay. So I want red on the bottom and red on the top. Nothing. That's eight. <clears throat> I'm 
And these are the top flowers. These are flipping over on me. There. Okay, so we'll have those there. And then we'll do some with this in the top. Actually. No, it's okay. Six. And then eight. Okay. So Then we can do some these in the bottom. Hopefully I can get eight out of these. There's five. Okay, we'll re roll that out. Where'd my blade go? Right in front of you. Okay, so that goes over there.
Oh, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So then, oh, don't do that. Okay, that's the glitter. Where uh, the cutters? I got those at Hobby Lobby over in the cake decorating section. And I actually just ordered some more different shapes off of eBay. Or, yeah, eBay, eBay, um, and they're on their way. They'll be here by the end of the month because they're coming from China. Um, I got butterfly cutters in, in a graduated set like these, and I also got um, it's a different flower shape. Um, they look more like peonies. So I'm excited for those to get here. And now these ones, this is just a little bit that I have left. Okay, so there's that much of that one left. Got to do um, two, three, four, five, six. I need at least three more of those. Me and my butterfingers keep dropping. Three more. So there's eight of those, eight of those, eight of those, and eight of those.
about the same. And then we need to cut this size and I need 16. <laughs> Come on, let it go. Yeah, they're going to be um, layered. That's why I'm doing three different sizes. So the ones that I'm cutting right now are going to be the middle layer, just the accent color. Are you tripping? <laughs> Eight. Nope, oh, I gotta figure out what I'm having for lunch today. So there's two, four, six, eight, nine, that's ten. Eleven, wait. Eleven. So um, I went out to my garden this morning and checked on my cantaloupes that are growing. Found two more that have started. So I am up to seven cantaloupes I'm going to have. <laughs> Fortunately, I like cantaloupe.
uh, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, now Can do all the detail. They're so tiny. Oh, power drill did not do. Oh, no. <laughs> did you strip the screw? I need my. to try a, a wrench or socket. Ugh.
We don't like this. There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay. And me, I'm going to try and finish these. And then I got to go eat my lunch. I can feel my blood sugar want starting to drop. Ooh, hot dogs. Yummy. We had chili dogs the other day for um, 4th of July. And homemade baked mac and cheese. And coleslaw. And for dessert, we had a jello poke cake. I did a lemon lime, lemon cake with lime jello. And I um, still have some of that, so I'll be having that for dessert. Okay. Okay. Oh, you haven't? Oh my gosh, I grew up on those. They are so good. And it's one of those things, they're kind of dangerous because they're so light and just refreshing because it's, I mean, I love cake. 
I don't care what you put on top. You know, frosting wise, I don't care what you put on top of it, as long as it's not marshmallow. I do not like marshmallow. Um, but it's so light and refreshing because the topping or frosting, frosting, if you want to call it that, is just uh, it's almost like a mousse where because it's just um, pudding, like jello pudding and cool whip um, folded together. So it's really oh, chocolate cake. Yeah, I kill for chocolate cake. You will never see me turn down chocolate cake. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to put my little centers in. There he is. <laughs> Hang on. Hello, you're live on Sandra's Beating Heart Treasures. Doesn't she make beads? What? Who is this? Am I live? Yeah, you're live on Beating Heart Treasures. Excellent. All I have to say is 15 points for Rick Okay, weirdo. <laughs> Kenny hung up. <laughs> what a nut. Um, oh, yeah. Welcome to my world. Not that it matters, but yeah. Okay, so there's the first layer. So I'm going to let these rest and then uh, I'll work on these some more and um, or I may wait till Monday and, you know, well, I'll probably work on them some more this weekend and then Monday I'll show you what I came up with and then uh, we can go from there and we'll probably work on the birdhouse some more on Monday. Because by then I should have some ideas on how I want to go forward, you know, doing the the antiquing and the dry brushing and all that. So, um, <laughs> slightly nuts. Oh, that ain't even that. <laughs> He's wackadoo. <laughs> he um, definitely keeps me on my toes. So, yeah, I'm going to toy around with that this weekend, get some ideas for where I want it, what I want to do with the birdhouse. We're, um, once I get done painting it, I'm gonna do some embellishing. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll see where we end up. But <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get out of here so I can go fix my lunch and and uh, have watch some watch a couple shows and. Let the dogs outside, and I think I'm going to shut down the house because it's. Get, I can feel the heat. It's starting to warm up here. And so, there we go. Ooh. See, I, I'd work like this, but it's really dark for me, so I can't see very good. Um, so, anyways, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, My brain is drawing a blank, so <laughs> I'm just going to say have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you Monday, and uh, be sure to thumbs up and like this video or not, you know, and I will catch you guys all later, okay? Love you all. Bye.